is frequently described as really clear. Which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore slip. This shark understands that she needs to keep essential minerals to stay healthy. I said Captain Blatty sunk his treasure somewhere around here. I've been running a diving expedition every year for ten years and I ain't found it yet. This has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. The battle is over, but the war goes on. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Giant monsters, or kaiju, occasionally visit Port Clovis to pregame before destroying more worthwhile cities. Fishing is similar to regular fishing, but enjoyable only to upper Midwesterners.
Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bolt. No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. It's estimated that only one out of a thousand sea turtles lives to adulthood. That means this turtle, the solitary hunter, stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Five hundred million years of terrestrial evolution reaches its apex with Prosperity Sand's spacious flow-through floor plans. The air out here has a distinctive smell, that of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and an intriguing bouquet of volatile organic compounds. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on a watch for food. Sharks' propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. large amounts of mutations as a catalyst. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. This recreation of the Titanic was so accurate, 1,500 people died during its maiden voyage.
sponges, demand for pineapple homes has sparked massive deforestation throughout Costa Rica. But being brainless, sponges rarely weigh the consequences of their buying decisions. A shark's skin has chemoreceptors that taste the water for possible prey. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. protein makes a great between meal supplement giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious plans. tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach, it's truly the ocean's garbage. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining. The bull shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. tendency to anthropomorphize them into lovable cartoon characters belies the fact that sea turtles are owner bull sharks have a habit 
gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. shark discover the miracle of self-love. Pete has a new boat, and from the looks of it, there are several features probably not legal for civilian use. So you found me. So what? Uh... Pete, I, I don't know what all this is, but you're scaring us. <laughs> what you gotta be scared about? You a shark? Uh, Pete, I don't want to, but I, I think we need to get the police, maybe the Coast Guard involved. You think I'm crazy? No, no. I'm the most sane man you ever seen. Look, I didn't get it easy. But when some... some shark take everything I got, I'll give her the same chance she gave my boy. None! Now get the f*** off my boat before I kill you too. The f*** I say! <laughs> Hope you got hunger on! We serve a shark to fair tonight! Pete has built an impressive battleship. But will it be enough to endure the prehistoric might of a mega shark?
Laissez les bon temps rouler. I suppose there's a lesson to be gleaned here. Something about how the increasing commodification of the natural world has placed humans on a collision course with an environmental apocalypse. But this is a basic cable show where people tune in to watch sharks kill people and people kill sharks. So until next fishing season, this is Manu. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. <laughs> 